Hi, I'm Fortunato Gulino. I'm an automotive engineer for Con Edison. Born and raised from Brooklyn, Dyker Heights. Yo. <laughs> I've been in Con Edison for 14 years. We always prototype all the newest technology that the manufacturers offer. Uh, we have introduced many types of uh, hybrids and also plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. A lot of people want to have uh, these electric vehicles, but they don't have a lot of information. This is where we help you to identify if an electric vehicle is actually good for you. There are four types of electric vehicles. <clears throat> Bear with me. There's a hybrid electric vehicle, plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, a full electric vehicle, and an extended range electric vehicle. A hybrid electric vehicle uses an internal combustion engine and an electric motor, and they both drive the vehicle. In city traffic, it actually uses the electric motor, and on highway, the, the internal combustion engine actually kicks on so that it uses a fuel-efficient four-cylinder to go on the highway speed. Make sense? A plug-in hybrid is almost identical to a hybrid electric vehicle. You're able to plug in to an external power source. The third option is a full electric vehicle, which uses an electric motor and a lot, much larger battery pack. Its sole uh, charging capability is through an external power source. On a extended range electric vehicle, you only have an electric motor that drives the vehicle. The internal combustion engine's sole purpose is to charge the battery when it's fully depleted. It extends the range of your electric vehicle beyond the capability of the batteries. Uh, limited storage capacity. Con Edison customers uh, have two reasons to be interested. An electric vehicle or hybrid electric vehicle produces little to no tailpipe emissions. And actually producing electricity has less greenhouse gas emissions than your gallon of gasoline. I mean, if you're using hydro or, or solar, you're not using petroleum fuel. So that's your yeah, greenhouse gas emissions is almost zero. And also just a cost benefit. It's actually cheaper to buy the uh, electricity than buying a gallon of gasoline. Now, if you're charging this vehicle at home, naturally your electricity usage is going to go up. Currently, there are two, there are two levels of charging. The level one is a regular 110 volt outlet, uh, typically used on your microwaves or your toaster ovens. Uh, but it is recommended that you have a dedicated circuit breaker uh, for that outlet. Level two charger uh, ranges from a 208 to a 240 volt, which is equivalent to an electric range or an electric dryer, so your charge is a lot faster for you. Now, I know you're asking the question, where can I charge these things if, you know, if I don't have a charger, if I live in an apartment. There are a couple of charging stations available within, within New York City um, in parking lots right now. There are plans to expand these charging stations throughout New York City, um, further up to Westchester, even, and even Orange and Rockland County. We actually help you answer many questions like, um, is your house equipped to charge this electric vehicle? You know, what is your, what's your daily commute? These are all questions that will help you determine whether an electric vehicle is beneficial for you and your family. For more information, go to conedcom slash electric vehicles. I'm very excited. It's bringing out the fifth grade in me. Oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for a hover car. I want to fly now. <laughs>